good morning people, welcome back to Book Watchers in the 25th Century Countdown to Doomsday. Last time we got captured by pirates. We escaped, we got Buck Watchers on our team, and have attacked an army. So, let's continue and find out what we got for our reward. up everyone I'm going to I think found spoils and yeah quite a bit of stuff here stun grenades eight stun grenades nothing's amazing there a couple of demo charges I'm going to take an extra one I think two explosive grenades His uh, laser pistol was going to be always the better because he's going to be trained in that. But in cases I can't use the laser pistol, I've got a backup. A couple of heat guns, five of them, don't really need them. Ten cutlasses, don't really need those. Grenade launchers, though, I expected to get one, so I can go over. And rack. Laura's getting a bit full on the equipment, isn't she? No, I'll go so I'm going to drop those. You do have my uh dust grenade, so right. That's a bit better. So far, five explosive grenades, sixteen chaff grenades, and fourteen chaff grenades, and a lot of stun grenades. If you haven't already noticed, the big prize. One rocket launcher. This is one of the most damaging weapons in the game. In sheer uh, damage. You can only need fire it once every two rounds. Once you fire it, it needs a turn to reload. However, 5 to 50. Think on that for a moment. Yeah. That is going to be extremely helpful. Especially when the fights get really big size. And it's all and it's a major upgrade from the rocket pistol, which is already really falling off as a weapon. I don't really need any heavy body arms or need guns either, so it's all good. And you still have the OEC package, that's quite uh, amazing. You've usually dropped it by now. Right, now that I've exited that, I cannot get anything else there. And if you want, uh, if you forget anything there, you have no second chance. So be prepared for that. What I'm going to do in this part is quite suicidal, actually. I'm going to be fighting at least two fights, which I'm going to show. We'll see. Uh, I'm probably going to get game overs from both of them. But I want you to see what happens in this ship. That fight with Talon is one danger. Yeah, you can easily get someone comatose or possibly dead. I was lucky and only got dying. And the 
there's also a couple of fights that are almost as dangerous. These ones you can win. There's no lying in about that. You can win these. However, it is really difficult. I'm going to go up to the bridge first. So, level one. I'm going to stay. And I'm going to go down. The bridge is too heavily guarded. Storm it would be suicide. Charge board. Yeah, this is going to be painful. Like I said, this is painful. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen combat. Robots. Talon himself, and a whole mess of pirate leaders and just a couple of warriors. However, I did get to show the uh, rocket launcher before Flo died, so yeah. The uh, rocket launcher, as you can see, is a big area of effect. It will affect anyone in that area, so it's much like a grenade. It has the same properties, it can miss in a one, uh, one square radius, so it will hit in any of the nine squares around it, uh, and it, it, the square itself or the eight squares around it, and does a heap load of damage. I'm going to fire it at this just to show you what it does. Pretty decent. It has two uh, uh, sections of uh, damage. One is uh, one will do the full damage, and one will do half. So that one got hit for full damage. That one got hit for half. Yeah. And the same. Uh, it's the same. Right? So it's completely random if it gets hit for full damage or half but it will always do damage. This is first aid. I can use it on Flo, who is dying. If she was comatose, I would not be able to use it. If she is dead, I would not be able to use it. it uh, when you use it, it has a chance to get them up. Depending on your uh, level of uh, first, uh, first aid or treat wounds. Rack is going to he is not getting up unless I went to a thing, a medical centre. Buck Rogers is probably going to be the last man standing. I'm going to have a shot at Talon just for the heck of it. Oh, if you're in here. That'll, that'll, that'll do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. There was no chance that Heck was ever going to win it with the amount of numbers that this thing has. And that's all my team down, and it's time for Buck to just uh, lose. This is all in one turn, by the way. Because I don't think everything's moved yet. There he goes. Your team has been destroyed. Ram continues its plans unopposed. That's the game over. It is possible to win that, but as you can see, 
highly unlikely. But let's load it back up and I'll show you the engine room right at the moment. It's that one. Luckily, I saved. I knew that was going to happen. So. Down to level 4, which is the engineering. Let's find a way to thin out all the guards before we charge in here. Or we can charge forward or stay back. We're going to charge forward to show you how to see what they uh, what the fight looks like before we do anything with the ship. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This fight is a lot easier than the bridge fight. However, yeah, I don't think I'm going to win this one either. But I'm going to try this one a bit, a bit harder than I did the last one. If it stops working. Whether I win it or not, I am going to reload, so... Yeah, be careful not to get your uh, team in thing, because they will be hit just like a grenade would do damage. So, I've put uh, Linus in a terrible place there. Oh well. Sorry, Linus. Uh, I'm going to go chaff grenade, I think, and put it on Linus so he doesn't get fired at. Plus it gives me a chance to show you what the uh, chaff grenade does. Go there. That's the chef grenade. Right. Basically, what the chef grenade does is uh, not allow any uh, rocket based projectiles into the area. Uh, so, rockets, grenades, uh, rocket pistols, anything like that, cannot fire through this thing. And it seems the P combat rocket, uh, robots can't uh, do anything in there, so they're just going hand to hand, which is actually quite important. I might try to be able to use that a bit more. Uh... However, the ones outside can still Hurt. Your team of eight is dying. It will tell you that each uh, time. And if. Uh, do, do, do. Welcome back, Flo. Oh, no, goodbye, Flo. People that know first aid can only uh, 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 use it once, I believe, but the medic can use it, I believe, once per character. Not 100% sure on that yet. Yeah. Uh, grenades generally. Uh, last up to five turns. They last less time in zero gravity uh, uh, situations though. So, so the, uh, 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 the zero gravity 
the environment here is detrimental to uh, the uh, use of chaff grenades. As you can see, you cannot fire grenades through chaff either. Even though it looks like it sometimes. Yeah. But everything else isn't too, uh, too uh, offensive, but the combat robots are really dangerous. I would like to get to the least of it. Yeah, as you can see, can't do any more in the way of first aid. Bowlins. Since I'm going to sort of I'm expecting to lose here, so let's make it a good, a good loss. That was a good fire. Those uh, explosive grenades, I believe, are infinite until we... Uh, uh, I don't think they ever run out. Uh, ah, yeah. If you can't uh, perform first aid on a character, it just won't do anything. That first aid is for... Uh, Linus, who is underneath this robot at the moment, so... But I can't get to him, so... I might be able to pull this out with a uh, buck around. But as I said, I'm going to uh, reload this, no matter if I win or not. I've got a medic and a Casper's dead. Back is dead. Buck Rogers is the only one alive. was directly on him and he dodged it. Oh well. <laughs> yeah, I'm basically a passenger now, now because but is completely autonomous. So until Either he dies or he wins. And at this moment in time, it's more likely he's going to win. Because they only have a 5% chance to hit. And then grenades aren't going to do anything because he'll just dodge them every single time. There's only two left and that needle gun of his is just amazing. Yeah, each character 
receives 7,650 point, no, experience points. All to Buck, because he's the only one alive. Rack is dead. He's never coming back if I didn't stop. Laura is dead. No, sorry, Laura is comatose. Castor is dead. I would have to remake their characters completely. However, that's not what I'm going to do. I will show. Um, I will just quickly show that they are dead. And yeah, dead. Never coming back. Dead. Coming toast. <laughs> That is not something that's acceptable, so I'm going to reload. Yeah. Those are the two fights that you get before you even do little bits and uh, the pro what you, you're meant to do in the area. There's two very difficult fights. One's extremely difficult, one can be won, but very unlikely. What we have down on below us, back to our normal scheduled program, I guess, is the metal. Pirates would rather eat, uh, fight than eat. This is a much easier fight. Yeah. But you've all, all seen these, so I'm not going to show these. Ah, uh, just use a stun grenade. Uh, as you can see, Castor, Rack, and Linus are stunned. They cannot move this turn, which is a bit of a pain. I really should have moved things, uh, moved people. And flow, as you can see, cannot re no, cannot fire again because it's reloading. That this thing is white. You have to end. Oh, apparently stun lasted last sort more than one turn. I that. Oh well. They may be a bit more useful than I expected. Then. Metal just has a room attached. Garbage and rotten food are strewn throughout the gallery. There's nothing here, just garbage and rotten food, it seems. But the main thing ring we have on this uh, level is two things. One is the airlock. We can't enter the airlock now because it's still through engineering. But what we have up here is Talon's cabin. The door is trapped. So I'm going to try. Buck wanders off for a moment. Who would fight? It's trapped, so you want someone who's perceptive or can bypass security. Reprogramming will not work here, it's Laura. So have a, have a go. You disable the security, the door unlocks. If you fail, you will get into a fight without bug. And I believe there's a couple of combat robots in there. So it can be a dangerous fight. If you let Buck try, he will just bypass it instantly. But I don't think I, I, you get uh, the experience. I think you might get 250, but not 1,000. Talon's room is decorated with a grotesque war, uh, with grotesque war trophies. A computer dominates the room. Will anyone try to use a computer? Well, I do have a reprogrammer. Back. Another thousand. 
phases and just magic for the pilots and hit ship layout. Explosives in the galley could destroy the communications and security systems. That's where all the garbage was. Causing any chaos throughout the ship and making an engineer level 4 vulnerable. Level, uh, level 1, the bridge, does not change its uh, fighting capability, I believe. If this is only for uh, engineering. However, I might have a check just to see uh, if it does change. Garbage and bottom bridge, spin the front bar, galley, deal with it. Do you wire the room to blow? Yeah, why not? And that's another demo charge used, which is why I picked up an extra one. For a long moment, all is still. <coughs> and then big explosion. Uh, alarms and sound throughout the ship, and the overnight overhead lights flicker. What I'm going to do is I'm going to save it here, go up to uh, level 1 and see if that changes the fight there and then next time, whether it does or not, we will go down to engineering and complete the area. It looks like it's going to be the same. And it is. Once I get onto one of my characters, if I do. Alright. I will see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Have lots of fun. Goodbye.